Hey everybody, so I'm not doing a live video. I got 45 minutes, 38 seconds to do this. So I'm gonna be taking this inverter. I already took the screws off. So I'm just gonna take this top cover off. I think I might have missed a screw there. Yeah, I think I missed a screw. Oh, I went to Harbor Freight and I got the uh, two gauge 130C rated cable. So these will be a lot better for my setup than using those stupid two gauge or, or the other ones I had, you know? Wow. Pretty interesting in here. What a waste of space, though. Oh, I see how they do it. Okay, cool. So you can actually take it off like that. See? When you want to work on it, you just have to... And then you can uh, flip it up, right? I might have to zoom in a little bit use the camera for the light here. So this is what the Renogy inverter looks like on the inside apparently. They're using actually pretty decent quality cable. I can see that right away. You see that? That's some pretty thick beefy cable. And they're using some uh, chunky, decent chunky relays too. I don't know what this is. This could be a capacitor possibly for... Um, but then again, we have the ground cables right there, so maybe that's for. Um, let me uh, put you guys on the on the stand here because it's going to be a little more difficult. To, uh, sorry about that. I'm just you know need to. I'm going to turn the inverter around, but yeah, just give me a few moments here. Pretty heavy on the transformer side, so. All right, so let me. All right, so there we go. So that way I can. Um... So we have a Toyo uh, Roto transformer. How do you say it, Toyo Roto? And we have some windy. We have windings right here. I don't know why. Um. Pretty, it's crazy. Uh, so it says zero to 120 black red, Z zero to eight volt black red, input, output. Okay, so output, I mean, output, it says 2012 on it though. Interesting. I'm gonna say 2012. I wonder why. I mean, I know this is the. Uh, Inverting circuit, and the other part right here is for the. It's almost built like the Ames, you know that that Ames I got right there. It's almost built exactly like that. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Why oh, they built it like that? And we got the we got the button board. We have we got the button board. Maybe I can. There we go. I want to get that out of the way. I'm trying to think how I can. Uh, oh, I mean, I got a flashlight over here. I can use. Okay, well, I mean, it is what it is. 
So here's the control cable for the for the power board. This is the control board right here. This is all what does the controlling, switching, things like that. So this is the control board. This is the control cable which goes down here to the to the power board which has the capacitors on it, which are um, little black ones there. And then we have we have the two negatives and one positive. Why, why do we have one positive cable going to that? Going to that one. I, I mean, I guess it's a bigger wire here. But two negatives. Then we got something here. Suing. Yeah, so they're doing something here with this. Alright, some kind of suppression maybe? Doing some kind of suppression right here maybe, and then they connect it right here, and then it goes back in. And we got the two we've got two two wires here. Where are these going to? Going right to the circuit breakers. Okay. We got a decent 10 gauge, I mean, coming off the board. Yeah, we got a decent 10 gauge, so that's good. Let's, let's see what these trains, let's see what these, uh, you know what? Yeah, let me take you guys off the stand. I'll just use a flash. I'll zoom back, I'll use a flashlight for the, uh, I'm not good at making these videos, to be honest. Okay, so let's just use a flashlight here and we'll. So these are 40 amp, wow. Cause in the aims, they're 30 amp at 277. So these are 40 amps. So they're actually 10 amps rated higher of the, of the relays. That's pretty awesome. Why do we have a resist? Okay, so why do we have a resistor board here for what? What, what are they doing there? I think it's just flapping around in the breeze, as uh, Dave would say from an EEV blog. You'd say, like, it's a little bit how you doing there, flapping in the breeze. That's the way he would say it, I could think. But yeah, there we go. So we have a uh, 10 gauge. We got the power cord. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Power cord. Okay, so power cord's going on that side. Okay, so. And then the inverter cables go, okay, so we got the black, okay, so that's obviously doing something there. I guess these relays are what switch the, in, in from inverter or short power. So these are the inverter or short power like relays right there. That's probably some kind of uh is that a relay or is that a or is that a cap? I think it might be a cap. But yeah, as you guys can see, they're doing something pretty strange here with this uh, setup. Yeah, you see the power board right there? And those caps. So they're doing something there. And then the positive, yeah, the positive comes off of this one because on the aims it does the same exact thing. It comes off that board. That might be, you know what? That actually might be the same exact board that the aims can use. It's very possible, very very possible that that that, that they can use that board. Um, because because these are, uh, it's a company called Signeer, I, I think, or Signeer. They actually, um. They actually produce these inverter parts, or they actually make the inverters of themselves, and then they rebrand them and they sell them to whatever company, and they customize it too for obvious reasons, because that's a a digital display and buttons on the aims doesn't have that; it has just the regular controls. So yeah, I mean, essentially, I believe this power board right here could be used in that, and vice versa. But now this control board cannot be used in this, I believe it. Don't think it would work because this board is a little too physically it's just too big it's too it's too wide too long 
actually let me show you guys something here i have the i have another old control board that's doing the same thing that doesn't work anymore so yeah, this is the control board for the for the aims as you can tell i don't want to yeah see it it's just physically smaller so but this is a 3000 watt oh yeah and let me see if you, we can see here see that 20 amp at 250 rated and these are wow i can't believe that they rate my 20 amps though that's pretty fucked up 30 amp at 270 no wait a minute uh yeah so these aren't And there's a relay for the generator start starts up and as you can see it's got the same eight yeah uh, six seven the same 10 pin connector as this probably has this might be the 10 pin connector that'll be pretty interesting right if it was put you in my left hand here and we'll I don't like to grab them like that. I should have used pliers, grab it on the sides. What the hell? Yeah, it's the same 10 pin connector, but look at that. Came around with the board, the socket itself. It's pretty messed up. Oh well. So yeah, I don't know what this is specifically. I don't know. That's pretty interesting, right? Oh, there we go. 300 volt amp. I guess. I, I don't know. It's pretty interesting, but yeah. We're we'll make this video too long. So this is what's in the inside the 2000 watt Ren Energy inverter charger. In the aims it's a square transformer it doesn't look nothing like this so yeah i might take the air compressor and i'm going to hook it up and just kind of blow the dirt that's kind of accumulated because i could see you know it's fairly clean in there but i want to get it see there's like metal shavings and stuff just want to get it cleaned up before i put it back together so that way i'll be um won't potentially have any issues but yeah this is 2000 watts i mean it's it could run a heater you know can run a heater, can run a water heater. I mean, it could do a lot. You know, with these thicker cables, it should be able to definitely handle it. And I put the existing cables back in the battery. I might, I'm gonna do some more, more exper experimentation with that. I might, I want the cabling from the battery to the BMS, to the BMS to the post to be thicker and be able to handle up to 200 amps, like, you know, like continuous without getting hot, without even getting warm. That's that's the ultimate goal so i'm gonna have to do something to fix that so gotta play around for a while and go from there but yeah so it's kind of fun playing with this stuff to be honest so just the last day or so i just was like so i was so exhausted i just stay on the couch and stuff but boy today i had gotten out and i um went to harbor freight and got those cables it was like 42 dollars and i got the uh free bucket he's a coupon again I might as well, right? And then um, I go I go to Walmart and get a and got an oil filter and some groceries and took the old took the Carquest filter back, saved like two and a half three dollars, you know. Once I get the refund, and then came straight back home. I was trying to go to the UPS store and they were closed, so it is what it is. All right, well I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.